lie to yourself? I totally, totally lied to myself last night. I pulled one of those things where like, you know, you're super tired and I convinced myself that, oh, I'll wake up at seven o'clock. I'll get packed for Flagstaff, you know, get cleaned up, be out of the house by eight. It'll be all good. No, totally did not happen. I didn't get out of the house until like 9.15, but it's all good. Going to Flag, gonna show you guys this hotel that I've been wanting to stay in forever called Hotel Monte Vista. It's kind of in the main um, like city square center of Flagstaff, which is just one of the coolest spots. I mean, if you, if you can't tell by watching my channel, I love Flagstaff. So anyways, stoked to show you guys this hotel. I randomly called them this week and by a miracle, they had a room available, which like has never happened to me. It was amazing. Got the room, gonna show this to you guys. One of the biggest reasons I'm also doing this is because it's like 20 degrees cooler in Flagstaff. You know it's kind of sad when you go out into Phoenix and it's 90 degrees at 9 a.m. and you're like, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm so getting out of the heat. I'm so done. Gonna go get some cooler weather, show you guys Hotel Monte Vista, show you guys Flagstaff. It's gonna be awesome. All right, here we go, check it. this at home. I can't tell you how nice it was. So the other thing that's so cool that I didn't think this bathroom had, I, in fact I didn't think it had a shower at all. I was thinking oh man I gotta, I'm stuck with just doing a bath. Oh no! They have a rain shower style head. Again so cool. All right. I think what really struck me is just this room is prime time right now because it's seasoned for uh, Flagstaff and it was 150 bucks, which is like, you know, the top rate. I've paid way more for rooms and never had jets in the bathtub and a, uh, you know, rain style shower head. Kind of cool. Apparently you can't open <laughs> the windows. Uh, I realize they've screwed them down. That's so unfortunate. That would have been such a unique, cool little feature that you could actually open up a window. But I'm still gonna try and get some sort of time lapse here. Uh, yeah, what a bummer. That would have been so cool. Anyways. One of the best parts about this hotel is that they have this awesome bar downstairs. And the drink that you've got to get is called a whiskey chai. I'm not normally into whiskey. In fact, I don't like whiskey. But with a chai, it's the bomb. What's your name? Liz. Thanks, Liz.
Before I end this video, I just wanted to give you guys a few more notes on the hotel. I didn't talk about any kind of maybe the more negative things. So just to kind of give you a fuller picture of the hotel, I thought I would go over those as well so that you've, you've got a clear picture. So first thing, uh, no coffee maker in the room. That sort of blows. It's always nice to have coffee. And then as well, when I got in the room, there was a bit of a strange smell in the bathroom. Uh, I did notice though, when I turned off the fan and put a towel over the um, drain in the bathroom, that it seemed to go away. It's like a drain on the floor. And yeah, I didn't smell anything after that. So that was great. Another thing to keep in mind is that not every room in this hotel is like the room I got. Some of the rooms share a bathroom facility. So you wanna make sure that if you are going, that you're aware of that and that you ask for a room with a bathroom. Otherwise you'll have one of those other rooms and that may not have been what you were thinking you were gonna get. So I just wanna make you aware of that. And then last, the hotel is a bit older. It's not as you know modern as maybe some other hotels you've stayed in. So you may hear more noises than you're used to. So just keep that in mind that, you know, it's an older hotel, but it's such an awesome hotel. I mean, with all those things being said, I love, this hotel. Uh, it's awesome location, great price for what you're getting, and there's just so much charm to that hotel. Uh, it's it's one of my faves. So if you're going to, to Flagstaff, I highly suggest the Hotel Monte Vista. I don't think you can go wrong. It's a really cool place. And then as well, on that note, Flagstaff overall is just an amazing place. For example, I met this awesome father and son, Mike and Brian, and just some of the coolest people. I mean, we hung out while I was there. I've actually hung out with Brian since I've been back because they live in the Phoenix area. And I, I know that they're gonna be lifelong friends. Um, they're just really good human beings. And I'm, I'm stoked and, and feel so lucky I got to meet them. And I feel that's part of the charm of Flagstaff, that for some reason, there's something about Flag where you just have this really unique opportunity to meet uh, really great people. If you're going, I hope you highly enjoy your adventure there. As always, thank you so much for watching you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Right, bye. Um.